Hello Zebra Herd, welcome back to Paper Mario, the Origami King. In the last episode, we made our way through the Origami Castle, chasing after Ollie, and we ran into the Big Bad Staple, and we were able to defeat that. We were able to also unfold Bowser, so Big Bad Bowser's just following us around. Uh, my brother must be close. I'm getting nervous. I think he's gonna be beyond this big door, right? I guess we'll find out. Whoa. I think that really might be the case, but luckily we'll be able to heal up first. All right, if I know evil lairs, and I think I do, this should be the top floor. That's where the throne room usually is. Your brother must be on the other side of that door, so let's go get him. Uh, I'm scared. I can't believe my own brother would set that vicious stapler on me. Can we even stop him now? Or is he already too powerful? Aw, Olivia. Thank you, Mario. You're always there for me when I'm at my absolute flimsiest. This has just been in such a long and difficult journey. But I've had so much help along the way. I'm so grateful for you, Luigi, Kamek, and the Bowsers. And Bobby, of course. Oh, and the Professor, Captain Teo, the old Grand Sappy, the Shangri Spa Toads, the Sea Captain, the Oarsman, and the Origami Craftsman. You've all been so amazing and helpful. And now I just feel bad that I'm putting you all in danger yet again. Hey, origami girl, look at me. I'm Bowser. I breathe fire and punch through solid rock sometimes. You think I'm scared of that little twerp? Plus, I mean, I'm raising Junior. You think that's easy? Try parenting a high energy kid with access to a flying car in his own army. Your brother doesn't scare me. Aw. Wow, that really puts it in perspective. Well, I hope you feel better now, Olivia. Even Bowser agrees that things are gonna be okay. You know what? I'm feeling better. How about you, Mario? Are you ready to do this? All right, I feel like I'll be ready to do my part when the time comes. I just have to do my best and count on all of you, my friends. Of course. So there we go, we were able to heal up at the bench. And I can pull this open. This might be our last question block of this block of this area. Indeed, it is the Origami Castle question box hit. We'll get the Origami Castle as a collectible treasure number 118, and it's our final one of this area. How exciting! So this area is fully complete. Let's head up this way and take on Ollie. See so yeah, how let's go ahead and save. And let's go for it. Is he in here? He is, with an empty throne. Well, you're finally here. Took you long enough. As a matter of fact, it took you so long that there's nothing you can do to stop me now. Brother, are you still planning more terrible things? Yeah, who do you think you are folding me up and my minions like that? Like you could keep all this from busting loose? Anyway, where's Princess Peach? Is she safe? Is she comfortable? Does she have something to read? Asking for a friend. <laughs> he cares so much. Oh, the princess is right in front of you. Behold. Oh no! I told you, didn't I, that I would transform all of Peach's castle into an origami castle, including the princess herself. She is at one with the castle now. Beautiful, precious, and silent. I'm sure she's happier this way. Poor Princess Peach. She's been turned into a mural. You monster! Folding Princess Peach into the castle is too much. You've gone too far. You couldn't possibly do anything worse, except, wait. <gasps> All those paper cranes, you wouldn't. Oh my goodness, there's so many. I would, and I did. Witness the thousand cranes technique. He who has the patience to fold 1,000 origami cranes shall have any wish granted. That is real, ultimate power. And I shall use this to turn every last one of those wretched toads into blank, mere blank paper. What? That's crazy talk. The toads can't come back from that, you know. I wouldn't even do that. And I've done some mean stuff, believe me. Ask Kamek. I still don't understand what you've got against the toads. Do you realize that even you were originally folded by a toad? Of course I do. He's the whole reason I'm doing this. That fool disrespected the very paper I am made of. He scribbled all over it. 
Now I bear the hideous scar of his negligence and disre disregard for origami, and he shall pay. That's why you're doing this? But even if you're mad at him, why take it out on all of the other toads? If you've seen one toad, you've seen them all. They're all the same to me. That's why I have to turn them all into blank pieces of scrap paper, so I never have to see a single one of their stupid faces again. That is my vision for a glorious origami kingdom. As for you, Mario, you've proven to be quite annoying, but there's nothing you can do now to stop me. Already, 999 of my cranes are complete. After I defeat you, I'll honor your paper by folding you into the very last crane. Oh no. So he's about to become ultimately powerful if he beats us. Well, unfortunate for him, this is as far as he gets. Your adventure ends here, Mario. I will fulfill my dream. If you won't fold willingly, I shall bend you to my will by force. So the final battle against Ollie, the Origami King. All the toads cheering us on in the background. Stop that little jerk. Whoa. So apparently he was scribbled on by the Origami Master? Whoa, it's the Volmental. Wait, what? That's the shape of the Earth Volmental. Indeed, I've mastered the techniques of every Bibliofold. Now, witness how a king wields these powers. Oh no. Using our own moves against us. My brother sounds excited. That can't be good for us. Be careful, Mario. This is definitely going to be a battle. That is not gonna be easy, right? <laughs> Look, Mario, it's one of those super magic, ma super special magic circles. I might be able to turn into any of the Velimentals now. Well, let's give it a try. So, we need to get over there. Um, what's the best way to do that? I think for right now, I could, well, I don't wanna do that, actually. Um, if I bring this here, this will turn it on. And then, maybe we could do this. Okay, let's try it out. I don't think there's really anything else I need to do. We'll go over, down, to the right, and get it. Okay, so, there's no hint for this one. Mario's turn, come on. Let's use our elemental power. Which elemental power should we use? Uh, well, I guess we're just trying to beat whatever they're using. So if they're using Earth, we should use water. Maybe I could use some Pokemon logic here or something. I'm not really sure. Okay, hit it with everything we got while we're way up here. Oh man. That only did one damage. Uh, what do we do now then? <laughs> that attack won't affect me in this form. That was not the right one. It's the enemy's turn. Oh gosh, Mega Earthquake coming in. And I blocked some of it, but man, did that do some major damage. So if that's not what we do, still standing, huh? I'll soon fix that. What do we do instead? There's so many options, I need to experiment a little. He's definitely about to cause an earthquake, and we can't escape it. We have to prevent him from attacking. Do we have some way to stop him cold? Oh, okay, so we need to freeze him. Okay, so right here. So basically the same thing I did last time, but this time you had to stop him cold, as Olivia said. Let's give it a go. So definitely we need to refer to Olivia before we make any moves, because she might be able to actually answer some of them for us. Come on. Let's use this ice power up, the ice elemental. Ooh, that's looking much better. Ooh, but it still only did one damage. Curses, I, I can't move. Oh, so it's their turn, but they can't do anything. They're frozen. So what can we do now? Maybe this is where we actually just use a thousand fold arms or something like that. But we, oh no, we do have an on switch over that way. So what if I did this? That might not be enough. Okay, so hold on. I gotta figure this out. I 
think it would be better to do that. That way. Ooh. Maybe not. No, no, what happened? What? Did my brother's HP just replenish itself? Do you see now? You stand in a realm of pure origami, and I am in control. The longer you hesitate, the more I'll recover. Better think fast, haha. <laughs> You've gotta be kidding me. How is that fair? Stay calm, Mario. We can do this. Just breathe and arrange those rings as fast as you can. Go, go, go. Okay, so it actually really isn't fair if you ask me, but it's fine. We'll figure this out. I just, oh my gosh, I'm so bad with the buttons with everything. Um, I'm just trying to actually turn this on so that we could do something with it. But it might be too late. Um, Jeez, there's no way I can really get it to work the way I want it to, it feels. No, that, none of that's gonna do anything. This is so frustrating. Um, I guess I could try this and just do some kind of attack because I can't make anything else match up. Um, let's just try jumping with legendary boots and see if it does any kind of damage. Luckily, we had only done two points of damage. I think we just need to use, oh, that stinks. It would not line up for me at all. I just don't see how I could have made that work with the turns that I had. So frustrating. Um, okay, so I'm gonna put this here. We're gonna freeze him again. Oh wait, I just did it wrong. Oh my goodness, it's embarrassing. I don't know why I thought it would be a left turn and a, okay, well, we might lose some major health, but either way, even if we don't do so well this fight and we end up dying, it's like we'll learn something from it and get to try again. But yeah, this isn't gonna do much, is it? Ah, oh, I'm making some major mistakes. Not what I wanted. Okay, so here he comes again with the Mega Earthquake. Luckily I blocked it, but it's still so much damage. He's gonna come back at us again with it. This time, I really need to be careful. Luckily, it's already turned on, so I could you just get set up right there. What might be nice as well is getting some extra health, but I just don't know, if, I'm not gonna mess with it. If we could just get it set up like this so that he's frozen, this will guarantee get, get the thing. So freeze him again, then I need to use a thousand fold arms on him. I'm pretty sure that's the only thing that's gonna do damage, but it was just weird because I could not find a way to match it up, and maybe I was just making a silly mistake. As we've learned throughout the series, I'm not very good at this puzzle solving thing, but <laughs> I'm trying my best here to save the entire Mushroom Kingdom from evil Ollie over here. So there we go, he's frozen. It does one HP of damage. Isn't that great? Well, come on, this is our chance. Use the thousand fold arms. I see the on switch. You'd think this would be fairly fairly simple, because what I could do, put this here, swap this over, and then swap this here. As far as I can tell, that will fully work. There we go, and we got it. So let's see, it's our turn now. You're in big trouble. Uh, what are we doing? We're gonna throw him, we're gonna flip him. Oh, he's gonna be belly side up. Oh, we gotta hit him. Rush time. Oh, we're doing so much damage. That is crazy. That's gonna be half of his health already. Not gonna be happy about that one. <laughs> Not bad. Time to switch tactics. So what is he gonna switch to this time? Oh, it's gonna be ice. So we need to meet him with fire, I'm pretty sure. It's all about countering him. Whoa, this one looks cool though, for sure. Whoa, he turned into the water elemental. Oh, that, I thought it was the ice one. Okay, so what are we gonna do with this one? He's gonna do summon spouts. Oh no. Recall the water elemental's water spouts, yes? I've put my own spin on them. Oh, they're spinning, all right. So, before we move forward, we'll have uh, Olivia give us a hint. In our first battle with the Water Elemental, we found shelter on high ground. So I think that's what we need to do this time as well. Um, the best way to do that would be to switch this forward. Yep, just like that. And switch it over like this. There we go, I think that'll be enough. Oh no, oh no, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Oh, that's right, the water spouts will wash away all the panels, or wash all the panels away. Ah, luckily we, we worked it out there well enough that we should survive. 
So let's go ahead and use the Earth Elemental. And hopefully this does the trick. Come on. So we get raised up and then the, and then she should slam down to raise everything else up with an earthquake. Boom. Did that work? It I don't know if that worked. Uh I don't think that worked at all. Uh did I not wait long enough? I'm really confused. The big wave is coming in, and luckily I won't get hit by this, but. I mean, I guess at the least it might be, yeah, Ollie's stunned for a short bit. This is where we can use a thousand fold arms. <sighs> you survived? Impossible. Oh, it's possible, all right. So what are we doing for this one? I think I need to, yeah, just make it so that. Uh. Yeah, this could work actually. If I did this and then that, this is a very weird way of doing it, but I can go all the way around and into that thing. Okay, let's hope it works. Come on, come on. Got it, and good. So, let's use our thousand fold arms again. And just keep hitting them, keep hitting them. We are almost done. There we go, his whole health bar is down. Could that really be it? That was the easiest fight in a while. No way. <laughs> you surpassed the power of my superior. Folded paper. Brother, are you okay? You must be exhausted. Using even one elemental form can be... Shut it. I don't need your pity. I folded you so we could turn this flat world into an origami kingdom. But you betrayed me and allied yourself with these paper peasants. Don't you see, Olivia? We're both origami. Why are you fighting me? Ali, we are origami, but this isn't what we were made for. We both started as simple sheets, but we had souls folded into us. We were made with love, love of art, love of creation, love for life itself. That's what origami is all about. We should be friends with all paper beings if there's love in our hearts. You're lecturing me about love? Was there love in the heart of that paper toad who scribbled all over me? We're nothing like that flat flimsy fool. We were folded for greatness. I should have known you wouldn't understand. How could you? I made you too perfect, too pure. I don't even see the scribbles on him now. That's a mistake I'll soon correct. Here, Olivia, let me show you the true power of origami. Uh-oh. What is he going to do now? I don't know, but it doesn't look good. He's charging up? Whoa. He's folding into something entirely new. Uh, he, he just keeps unfolding. What's happening? What do we do? How many folds does he have? He's tearing the whole castle apart. No, the toads! This is not good. What is that thing? Look around you, Olivia. I'm folding the very fabric of reality. Origami embodies the limitless power of transformation. With this power, I shall rid the world of all pathetic paper-thin beings. You think we're gonna roll over just because you puffed up your chest and got all weird looking? I've had enough of you and your bad haircut. It's go time. Bowser, wait. That was a very uh, intimidating speech, but he's too powerful here. He'll crumple you for sure. Ollie was right. This place is made of pure origami power. It strengthened him, so it could strengthen you too. Let me fold you. What? Whoa, whoa, not even give him the time to agree or like say yes or anything. Whoa, the Bowser fold. What is this? 
Oh man! It looks great! Bowser versus Ollie folded version. <laughs> I love it. Nice work, Origami Girl. Okay, I'm gonna show this paper pusher how a real final boss fights. Here we go! <laughs> okay, uh. This guy's tougher than he looks. I might need some backup. Okay, well, then let's help out. Whoa, where did all these magic circles come from? Let's use these. If we slam the ground with the thousand fold arms, we can give Bowser an advantage. When Bowser nears a magic circle, run behind him and use it to summon the 1,000 fold arms. If Bowser shifts to a different spot, press B to cancel your attack and switch magic circles. Um, so, not now? Hey, hurry it up, Mario. I'm trying, I'm trying. So they're just having like a little slap fight. Uh, oh yeah, there we go. Am I doing it right? Huh? Magic circle vanished. I guess they don't last very long. Do you even, do you ever stop meddling? These should keep you busy. Uh-oh, whoa, it's like a shuriken. I jumped on it though. Jump, Mario. Okay, we need to go and help out Bowser from the next angle. Here it is, here it is, here it is. A thousand fold arms. I just smashed the ground. We don't have a ton of time, so we really need to smash. It's working. We gotta go way over here now. Hey, hurry it up, Mario. Ow, I didn't even see those. I gotta be careful, I don't have much health right now. Uh, <laughs> This battle is so silly though, I love it. Uh, There we go. We just need to hit as often as I can. There we go, that was good. Uh, I guess I'm going onto that side now. Well, wait, wait, I keep pressing the wrong button. I don't know why. I guess because I'm hitting B to smash the ground. I'm just not really used to it. Uh, come on, come on. Hopefully this is doing something. Hard to tell, to be honest. All right, ready, jump, got it. I missed that one, but I'll get this extra health. That'll be good, it gives me 20 extra. Okay, almost there, almost there. I'm gonna get you. Make the most of this time. There can't be too much more, right? Got it. Oh, no health from that one? That's a shame. Come on, this is it, this is it. Come on, all that extra power. It's pumping them up, they're getting bigger, I think. Maybe, ow. Well, that came out of nowhere. I'm trying, I'm trying, we're running over as soon as we can. Okay, this is it, come on. You got it, Bowser. This never ends, whoa, whoa, okay, the double jump though, that was cool. Come on, that's it. I will not be beaten by this bouncing blowhard. To me, my folded soldier. Whoa, it's a thwomp, run Mario. Whoa, a big angry face, where did that thing come from? We better act fast. Slam the ground as many times as you can before it falls and crushes us. Uh oh, uh oh, this is not good. We gotta go, we gotta go, we gotta go. Just keep smashing, keep smashing. Yeah, yeah, what? Oh, there we go. <laughs> you got beat by a paper powerhouse. Eat gravity, you jerk. See ya. Curse you. Did we do it? I think we did. Yeah, <laughs> that's great. Aw, I'm sorry, Olivia. I can't believe it. I know there was goodness in him, but Ollie chose to hate flat paper beings to the bitter end. Goodbye, brother. I hope we meet again someday. Oh no, we might be meeting a little soon. What happened, Bowser, are you okay? Oh no. He's huge! I will not allow this. I will crush you, all of you. Oh no, my brother's way too big. We can't stop him like this. Oh, wait. That origami craftsman gave me something special before we left his workshop. It's time to use it. Wait, what was it? Whoa! Is it all of them at once? It's a huge circle, oh man. Would you look at that? Another magic circle? Pathetic. What do you hope to do? Slap my wrist with those feeble arms of yours? Oh no, will this really be enough? 
Only one way to find out. One last battle. What are we gonna do? Ah! What is this about? Oh, it's all mixed up. Oh, come on. He jumbled up our magic circle. Could he fight fair for like two seconds? My anger, my rage, it's turned into a deadly poison rising up from below. You'd better act fast. If that gas reaches that, that this platform, it will be the end of you. Ha 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 ha! Hurry, Mario. We have to fix this jumbo-sized magic circle as fast as we can. Okay, so some pr problem solving here. Um, this is uh, very, very jumbled. I think that, what, three seconds? That's all I get? Uh, was that a good idea? Now take this. Oh my gosh, whoa, we just barely dodged that. Such insolence. Okay, so we don't get a lot of time here. So I'm just trying to figure out what goes where, because these blue ones, they actually go on the other side. This is crazy though, it is so jumbled up. Oh no, oh no, farewell. Uh. Oh, too soon, too soon. Oh, that hurt. <laughs> So the red one's supposed to be down here. Um, so I'll just try to match all that up for now, um, but we might have to scoot some stuff around pretty majorly. Now, take this. Whoa, okay, dodge that one, that was close. Why you? So we get so little time for all of this, it's crazy. Cause you can sort of see it, but it's all mixed up. Oh, there we go, that's a little bit better. Um, oh no, farewell. We dodged it, we dodged it, not too bad. You dodged? Oh, I dodged all right. Um. So I think this part goes down here. I'm just gonna focus on the red one because it's right here. So hopefully that's not too bad. We're going back into it again. Oh, what was that? Poison? Were we supposed to solve that whole thing in that one go? Wait, no way. I must have overcomplicated it somehow. I did not do a good job. Okay, I think I got it mostly matched up this time. I think I had gotten it confused and overthought it trying to solve it all. All you had to do is move it up and down in those different spots. And as you can see, it is mostly solved now. I think I just need to flip it over to the proper sides. So like this, I don't want to do as many as we can in this go, but I'm sure he's gonna start catching up to us in a moment, but we might have just done it as far as I can tell. There we go, there we go, we did something. You think I'll allow this? I'll make this magic circle as useless as scrap paper. I'd rather you not do that. Uh oh, jump, whoa! Oh, we gotta do all of it. No, tap, tap, tap. Come on, Mario, you got it. No, no, you don't. Oh, the big slam. Oh, that must hurt. You. Mario's turn, here we go, come on. What can we do with this thing? 1,000 fold arms, we're like 10, 10 million fold arms. Look how huge this thing is. Okay, so let's go for it. Let's just rush him. That was great. Oh my gosh, you did it, Mario. We can finally use the magic circle. The origami craftsman gave me one final folding technique, and it's our only chance of stopping Ollie. Oh no. What is this? We've never seen this one before then. It's a hammer? It's a big hammer! Whoa! The Olivia hammer! <laughs> That's gonna pack a punch! All right. Brother, please, come to your senses. Time to settle this. Or we might hit him senseless, but just keep in him. All right, I think that did the trick. See ya, Ollie! Wow! Oh no, he's all beaten up. I'm sorry, brother, I had no choice. Oh, but your poor body is all crumpled now. Maybe I went too far. No, Olivia, that hammer attack was divine. You put everything into it, and it was enough to awaken me from this dark dream. I was too proud, too entitled. My heart was blinced, my path was creased. I was a mess. Wait, what's this on your belly? Oh, <laughs> it hurts to move, but 
That is the cause of all this madness. The careless scrawl that Toad marked me with. Read it for me, will you? I must know what is written on there. What words or gibberish mark this foolish body? Please, I could use one last laugh. Okay, um, let's see. Dearest Ollie, may you grow into a fair and kind king. It's not just a scribble. It's a very sweet message from the origami craftsman. He just wished you the best as a new king. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I've been a terrible king. To think this is how I repaid his kindness. I just became so blinded by rage. I did so many unforgivable things. I'm so sorry that Princess Peach and Mario became caught up in all of this. And Bowser too. Oh no. Olivia, there's something you must do for me. Please accept these 999 creams and then fold my body into the 1,000th. When the last fold is complete, you will gain the ability to have any wish granted. I don't suppose it'll make up for everything I've done, but it's all I have left. I'm begging you, Olivia, do this for me. Oh no! Brother! Mario, I have something to confess. I don't know how to fold a crane. Maybe Ollie could have taught me. After all, he folded the whole castle and even me. But look at him now. Uh-oh, why is everything shaking? Uh. Whoa, it's Luigi and the craftsman. He can teach us. Everybody is here. Hey guys, I hope I didn't miss too much. I found the origami craftsman. Maybe he can talk Ollie out of all that this nonsense, right? Because he's the one who originally folded him. I don't think that would have worked, but maybe it's a good time they came now. Ah, yes, I remember this paper well. Such a lovely royal purple. And Olivia, so good to see you making use of the giant hammer technique I folded into your design. Wait, there are an awful lot of cranes here. Is one of you attempting the forbidden 1000 crane technique? Yes, but I promise I won't use it for evil. Can you teach me how to fold the last crane? I want to fulfill my brother's final wish and complete the thousandth, thousandth crane myself. Very well, I will teach you. I suppose all of this trouble is my fault in a way. After all, I was the one who originally folded your brother. This will be my last fold of life then. Olivia, prepare to fold as you have never folded before. Oh wow, going through all the instructions. And there it is. Well done, with that, the technique is complete. You may make your wish, Olivia. Okay, my wish, my wish. Anything you want, you've earned it. So a thousandth crane, grant me my wish. May all of the origami folded by my brother be undone. Oh, so they're all going back. All 999 cranes. Whoa. So everything should be going back to normal. Not only all the toads and other Bowser's minions, but the castle itself and Princess Peach too. So pretty. Oh my goodness, it's like a sun. What a technique. There it is. Everything's back to normal. Oh, and they're golden now. Oh, there's Ollie. Goodbye. So is that it? Is our adventure over? It sure seems like it. Oh, everyone okay? Oh no, it's Peach! Someone catch her? Uh, maybe she's fine. Perfect landing like always. 
My goodness, what are we all doing here? Princess Peach, you're back to your old self, wahoo! Wait, we're missing someone. Where's Olivia? Maybe she went to go be with Ollie. So we're having our big celebration, fireworks and everything from another adventure wrapped up. But I really do wish I knew where Olivia went. Almost a bittersweet ending. But it is pretty out here with all the different decorations. I'm so happy that everything is back to normal. Toad Town is bustling with an origami festival. Everyone is discovering the magic of origami and having fun. It really is a great art form. Even Bowser is here. This is a celebration for everyone. <laughs> it's so cute to see everyone getting along like this. I love it. Doesn't matter tonight if you're a good guy or a bad guy. We're just celebrating the fact that everybody's okay and safe. So many people from our adventure too. There's Birdo and some of the Shangri Spa Toads and plenty of other people too. We just hanging out in the booth that we used to ride across the desert. And here's the craftsman. Ah, Mario, Peach, come take a look. My masterpiece is finally finished. You see, it's a miniaturized origami castle, just like the one Ollie made. Mario, are you thinking about the origami girl who saved me? She was so brave to do what she did. We owe her everything. I just know she's with us in spirit. I wish I could thank her. Oh, gather around everyone, it's time for the big finale. What are these? Oh, the little lights. It's like the lantern, lantern really sang. To all the origami, thank you. Yeah, so there's little flames in the paper and it makes it sort of rise up in the air. Wow, that's so pretty. Look at that. So unfortunately, we never got to say goodbye to Olivia or Ollie. But at least, hopefully, they're out there happier somewhere. But that's gonna wrap it up for our Paper Mario The Origami King Adventure. That was such a fun game, a really fun just adventure throughout the whole thing. Obviously, we played through a couple of Paper Mario games now, but this one was quite the trip. <laughs> Took me a while to get through it, didn't it? But it looks like Mario and Luigi are heading home. What a long day it's been for them, right? <laughs> oh, this is cool. You even get some little murals of, I guess, like the toads returning everything to where it was supposed to be. Obviously the tree here, we, we saved him very early on in our adventure. But yeah, this was a fantastic game and I'm glad that I finally got the chance to finish it. I know that it was a long period of time where I just didn't, I wasn't able to keep up with it, but I finally got back to it, so that's always good. And we're not quite done with the game. There's still plenty of toads to save, question blocks to get, and collectibles to find that we just sort of missed along the way, and I couldn't really, I didn't really find an opportunity to go back and get to those. But I'll be doing that soon. We'll be having a few more episodes on this game, getting everything 100% completed, getting all the trophies and such, and really seeing what other extra content might be in the game. That would be a lot of fun for sure. And yeah, I just had a blast playing through it. So if you're maybe newer, you might not know the other Paper Mario games we played. Quite a few years ago, we played Paper Mario Color Splash, and I've played the original Paper Mario for the Nintendo 64. So maybe at some point we can play some of the other older Paper Mario games. You know, there's Thousand Year Door, and then there's Super Paper Mario, and Sicker Star. I'll definitely want to get to those eventually. Probably not anytime immediately soon, but 
definitely eventually I, I want to check those out and, and enjoy those games with you guys as well. But as per usual, no matter what game Nintendo comes out with or any other fun games that pop up along the way, I'm so excited to play them for you guys. And when it comes to this year, we still have quite a few more games all on the way. I know that there is, of course, a brand new Splatoon game coming. Eventually, the new Zelda Breath of the Wild 2 is going to release. And who knows what else is all on the way? I know that there's Mario Kart 8 DLC coming out every once in a while. Whatever comes out, I'll definitely be sure to enjoy with you guys. But it's so cool to seeing everything pass by us now. Everything we adventured through and endured in some spots. A lot of this was difficult. I like this game a lot, but I will say that the combat system is maybe my least favorite in the series. I mean, between this and Color Splash, I liked Color Splash's combat quite a lot with how the cards worked. I actually didn't dislike that as much as other people seem to. I've heard that some people don't like Sticker Stars, which I've never played Sticker Stars, so I'll have to see. But as it currently stands, this game narratively and through its adventure and its art, fantastic. But in, unfortunately, in terms of con the combat, it's my least favorite in the series. Not to say that it's bad, it's just that the bar, the standard for Paper Mario games is so high, and this one just struggles to meet it in that specific element. But every game has its ups and downs, right? So I'm glad either way I got to experience the full thing. And now we can think back of everything we explored. This is such a cool credit sequence. I love to see all the characters sort of return back to these places. Bowser's enjoying Changer's spa now. That's cool. And the credits even thank us and you. That's great. Oh, and here are all of the uh different, what's it called, all the different bosses we fought, the pencils, the scissor, the stapler, the tape, and a couple more of those. That's really neat. And of course, still more credits. Here's Mario and Peach back at the castle. Jeez, it took us all night to drive back. The sun is rising again. Well, there we go, the end. Oh, what's happening now? There was Olivia for a moment. Maybe that means she'll be folding back into her adventure? Who knows, it looks like we're back on the main menu now, so I'm pretty sure that if we were to start the game again from here, it's gonna bring us back to right before the final boss. So that's where we'll return in the next episode. We will go back to the game, we'll start 100%ing all the areas that we didn't finish the first time through, as well as getting all the trophies and just any other loose ends that we might be able to do so that we can properly 100% complete this game. But with that being said, that is gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Paper Mario, The Origami King. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.